Hello guys, this is gonna be one of the quickest quests in the game, but one of the viewers asked if I could do it nonetheless. So, before you join any of the major guilds, especially the one with the fire majors, or if you do the merchant's guild quest, there is a quest called Parlance Plea, which is if you intentionally climb the wall of the monastery, get inside, and the Parlan is actually there to talk to you that you shouldn't be doing that. You remember that in the regular game, if you do that, uh, the fire mages will just automatically start attacking you. Here it's not the case. And he will give you a chance to redeem yourself by getting one of the artifacts back that uh, one of the novices, I believe, or was it one of the mages, left it at uh, Lamar the Moneylender. So here we are Welcome at the, the monastery. You just skip all the conversation that you have in, with Pedro and uh, try to climb up this way. I had a little problem, but eventually I did get it. There might be another way from the back, but I tried to get up this way and eventually I did get it. So once you get over the wall, Barlon will run to you and uh, he will say, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be here. And uh, you just need 10 rhetoric points to actually talk to him. And you need a thousand gold to get something from Lamar, which was an artifact. But before we do that, we also got stopped by Holger and his little quest with his father in town. We're gonna do that another time though. Uh, if you continue down to one of the quarters of the main fire mages, you can actually sneak in if nobody's there, especially in the morning because they're all in the church part of the monastery. And I'm just gonna grab this little chest here because it contains a key to the treasury room. The key to the treasury room is kind of important because it has a lot of gold, uh, an ancient rune tile, which I will use right away for the teleport to the monastery itself and uh, a book and a few fire spells at that so might as well get in here while you have the chance and get everything from the chests from the bookshelves and uh well eventually be on your way for those that haven't seen any videos in the past week is because probably have been a little bit too busy and also got sick at the end of the week kind of hard doing videos when your mouth is not actually working the way you're supposed to or your voice in this case I grabbed all the uh, the gold chalices the the ancient rune tile and all other stuff so I also started opening up this chest because it contains a very valuable recipe of a magic sword that you can use as a mage if you have enough mana of course I'm not going to use it because I'm already doing the staff or double-handed uh, weaponry. But nonetheless, if you want to go one-handed, this is your choice. Here we get a few fire arrows, a book called Dragon's Mouth, which gives you, I think, at least one learning point and rhetoric, if I'm not mistaken, and quite a bit of experience. So I'm going to open all of those. Also, the Elementary Arcanum that we got from Lutero in the previous episode. But hey, open up everything that you can see. So later on, when you don't really need it, you can give it away to Galahad. Once I was done with opening all the documents and books, I went back outside and uh, activated the runic stone for the monastery so i can teleport here at any given time very valuable of course <laughs> teleporting to the harbor now since lamar is the one that we do need to talk to and uh well if you have a thousand gold on you you can test him by um Tell him you do have enough gold for him to open up his shop, basically. He does have a little tiny shop in here of a few valuable things that you can also pick up later. 
But nonetheless, you do need a thousand gold in your inventory for this to work. If you don't, well, then your quest is basically lost. I also um, <laughs> chose these dialogues by mistakes. But I just wanted to get him out of the way. Anyway, once you open up his trade panel, just grab the ancient relic and close the conversation. He will talk to you again. I also robbed him and I got a book that you guys already probably know about. Either way, he's going to talk to you about the ancient relic that's one of the mages left here or the novices. And once you're done with that, just go back to the monastery and give it to Parlan. As a reward, he will give you 200 gold. A very valuable ring for at least the beginning of the game. I think it gives you 10 mana and 30 HP. And even give you a bit of karma of Eos. And now you can freely walk around the monastery. And uh, that's it for this episode. Quick one guys. I'll see you later.